But the life of faith is to follow the word of God like Abraham. It is to follow the word written in the Bible without fail, for it is the truth. All things will be fulfilled according to the word of God for sure, not according to our own carnal expectation. And therefore, it is a wise choice to follow God's word by faith. It is by faith that we can receive the remission of our sins. Follow the Lord, please Him, have our prayers answered by the Lord by believing in this word, be blessed, become the workers who do the spiritual work of heaven, and receive the blessings of the fertility of the earth. Jesus said that the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet that was cast into the sea and gathered some of every kind. He said that when it was full, they drew to shore and they sat down and gathered the good into vessels but threw away the bad. What are the bad here? As I mentioned before, they are the ones who follow only their lust of the flesh. The bad fish are those who do not sincerely believe in the gospel of the water and the spirit with all their hearts but believe in it only half-heartedly to placid their conscience, follow only the pleasures of their flesh, seek only carnal things, and live their lives for such purposes alone. Throughout the whole world, God has cast the net called the gospel of the water and the spirit and is waiting for the fish to be caught in the net. Put differently, he wants everyone to receive the remission of sin by hearing and believing in the gospel of the water and the spirit. This is why God is working. And yet among those who profess to believe in this, there are those who are outside the real faith. They will surely be judged. Among those who profess to believe, in other words, some will be cast out like this. It is true that we are insufficient, weak, carnal, and prone to follow the things of the world. This is because we are still in the flesh. Though this is true, there still are those who dedicate themselves to the righteous work of God. It is true that our God has given this word of truth to this world, to us, and it is also true that we, having received the remission of sin, are to live our lives of faith by trusting in God's word and following it. It is by faith that we can do the just work. We must live our lives of faith by looking toward the written word, engraving it in our hearts and holding on to it. Since you said that you would do this, I believe that you would indeed do it without faith. To have this faith, to look forward to God's word with faith, to follow this word and obey it by faith, like Abraham, this is the life of faith. It is with this kind of faith that we should live our lives of faith. Only then would we have proper and great faith springing forth in both our spirits and minds and prosper even in the flesh with the help of God.